protesters in Topeka are joining people across the country in demonstrating against the murder of George Floyd. Hundreds of people gathered at our state capitol today, and KSNT news reporter Kelly Peltier was there at the protest. She tells us what she saw. Kelly. Hannah, earlier today, this side of the state capitol was crowded with people rallying to get to justice for George Floyd. I spoke with a number of them who say what happened this week in Minneapolis was unacceptable and that today's rally was a stand for peace and unity. Hundreds of people making their voices heard in Topeka at the state's capitol. Peacefully calling for justice after a man named George Floyd died in police custody in Minneapolis. Video of a police officer kneeling on his neck while he yelled, I can't breathe, went viral, prompting protests around the country. I have no desire to tear up my city. I have no desire to tear up this town. Instead, a desire for equal treatment for everyone in the community. We want to be able to stand equally and have access to the powers that be so that these injustices won't continue. Shawnee County District Attorney Michael Kage was at today's rally and says he wants to see change too, not just here in Topeka, but across the country. If people aren't feeling safe in, in Topeka, they're probably not feeling safe somewhere else. So let's let's deal with that. Let's uh, take a, a collective approach to solving that problem because we all have a stake in it. We're all responsible for it. And protesters agree the responsibility for bringing change and unity is on everyone regardless of their race. They hope today's rally will be the first step in seeing that change in communities across America. We all need to come together and we just not need to stop fighting and having this giant war against each other and that if we really do come together, hate and everything will stop. When I spoke with District Attorney Michael Kage, he says he wants to start using his position to ask questions like how can leaders help people in Topeka feel safer and how can they address the inequality that people at today's rally are feeling. Live from the Capitol, Kelly Peltier, KSNT News. Thanks, Kelly.